Hello and welcome back to our channel. Today we are going to be unboxing, setting up and reviewing the i8 Pro Max smartwatch. This smartwatch is now available in our stores as well as on the other marketplaces and you can also check out our website for further information on prices and availability. Watch if you do like our content and you'd like to find out more information as well as keeping updated with the latest, please do hit that subscribe button. It will be helping us to grow and it also keeps you updated with the latest. Now, um, over now to the uh, unboxing. So this box is pretty simple does have the um, picture of the smartphone right at the front and at the back it does indicate that it includes the smartwatch, the band, charging cable and the user manual. Not all capabilities are available in all areas, smartwatch is not a medical device, battery life, charge cycles and display life vary by use and settings. The smartwatch may need to be serviced or replaced by an authorized provider. Right, so this is it in terms of the box. Let's go ahead and open this up. So very simple setup here. And inside the box, we've got the user manual. So it does support uh, Android and iOS from Android 5.0 and from iOS 9.0. We do have the instructions in Chinese, but we also have instructions in English here at the back. So let's get this out of the way. We've got the wristband. We've got the charger. And we've got the smartwatch right over here. So this is what it comes in the box. It looks pretty nice, pretty neat, not that heavy. And uh, it looks actually pretty good. I like the black color. And it does a bit of, uh, there's a bit of uh, like noise when you are uh, just turning the indicator right over here. And all of the other components are over here. So what are we gonna do now? We're gonna give it a quick charge and we're gonna power it up and set it up with an Android phone. To charge up your smartwatch, basically you get the smartwatch and you will see the connectors here at the bottom. Insert the same way. And that's it, connect it to a USB port and it will start charging up. Okay, right, so now I've fully charged the uh, smartwatch and there are a few things that we just need to remember before we actually use the smartwatch. First thing is you need to fully charge your smartwatch before you start using it. Second thing is that you need to have a device that has an Android 5.0 and later, or an Apple uh, device that has um, iOS uh, 9.0 or later. And both of these devices, either Android or uh, iOS, they need to have Bluetooth as well. So um, once you have done that, I'm gonna set up here the wristbands, and the wristbands are very, very easy to set up. So what you do is you just fit the, um, the bands as such, here we go. And on the other side as well. And that is it. So you've got your wristband set up. So next up, we are going to download and install the application. On the manual, you will see that there is a QR code that you can scan. And um, we're going to install and set up the application that will pair to the uh, smartphone. So first things first, what we can do here now is just install uh, or scan the QR code from the manual. And to do that, we just open the phone application and scan the QR code. Okay, that's done. And then tap on the link to open the application. We've got two options. We can download the application from Google Play Store or we can do a local install. A local install is basically the APK that is downloaded onto your phone. We are going to install it from Google Play Store. It finds it on the Google Play Store. Then you tap on install. This will install the application. Okay, now that the application is installed, we are going to open the application. We have to agree to the user privacy 
And now here it will request you to access your physical activity. I'm going to allow, allow the phone call logs. Yes, allow to access contacts. Yes, um, allow the application to find, connect and determine relative position here by devices. Allow, allow the application to manage phone calls. Allow. Um, and allow the application to send and view SMS messages. I'm going to select allow. Allow the application to access photos and media on your device and I'm going to allow. Now, for you to be able to fully use this smartphone, you need to allow all of these things so that the smartwatch may have access to the applications that use the functions that you want your smartphone to your smartwatch to use. Once you have installed the application and accepted all the terms and conditions, now you've got two options here. You can create an account or you've got an option here to log in directly, for example. So I'm going to tap in login directly so I don't enter any details for now. It does create an account number and a password. So it is advisable that you take a screenshot and keep this safe. I'm going to tap on OK for the application to open and then it does give a hint here for you to take good care of your account and password in case you lose it select ok here it requests for some personal information um, a nickname sex birthday height weight and unit system i'm just going to enter a nickname here and tap ok so you can change these settings later on anyway so i'm just going to tap ok so this has been set successfully. Now, background running, so your um, application needs to be um, running on the background because of uh, Android uh, Dozer. Uh, some applications get killed in the background and then they don't receive all, this, all of the uh, synchronizations. So in this case, I'm just gonna leave it as it is. And um, enable notification user usage uh, permission, otherwise the message push function won't be used. I'm going to allow the application and to do that, I just need to tap here to allow the application to be able to access notifications, tap on OK, and it takes me back to the screen. Right, so here on this screen, next up to do is to set up or to pair your smartwatch to your mobile phone. To do that, First things first, you need to enable Bluetooth on your smartphone. So on Android, it's usually um, here on this drop down uh, menu. So I'm going to enable Bluetooth. You don't pair it yet, just leave it as it is. And then you are going to select My here on the right hand side. And before you search for the device, you need to make sure that your smartwatch is actually enabled for Bluetooth. And how do you do that? Basically, power your um, smartwatch on by pressing the power button here at the bottom. And then what you do is you swipe up. This will open the menu where you can actually enable Bluetooth. Tap to enable Bluetooth on the smartwatch and then search for the device on your smartphone. Tap on search device. You need to allow permissions here for your device or for the application to have access to your location. And under permissions, I need to enable location, allow only whilst using the application. Go back, go back, back, and search again. This is now searching for the smartwatch. It has found the smartwatch, as you can see there. Okay, there it is. Tap on the smartwatch. This is now connecting. Right, so please pay attention. Uh, please turn on the application self-launch. So I'm going to pair, fine. And the application is now fully paired to the smartwatch. Now there are other functions here that I'm gonna go over through with you on another video. I'll put a link in the description. Uh, it will be a full review. Um, so for today, yeah, we've got the unboxing, we've got the um, uh, setup. Uh, of the um, application and uh, your mobile phone and the smartwatch. In terms of um, uh, functions, I will be going through all of the functions uh, with you as well on a separate video. But basically, uh, it is 
uh, a pretty uh, neat device. The material seems to be uh, very good and resistant and it's, um, yeah, it's very easy to operate as well. So you've got the power on button here at the bottom and then you can swipe up to go over to settings where you can uh, you know, change the Bluetooth settings, phone settings, etc. Um, and uh, just press the power button again, it goes on to um, this mode. So this is touch screen as well. Um, so if you want to go over to your applications, for example, you just press this button over here, it takes you to the applications. And from here, you can actually just um, verify or just browse through, uh, browse through the application that you want. For example, if you want to access phone, tap on phone and here you can dial a um, phone number um, to go back just press the button again it goes back if you want to access whatsapp you just press or tap on whatsapp to go back you can swipe to the right or you can press the button as well and also you can just adjust here the um, the zoom for all of these applications. Um, I will be going through all of the functions of the smartwatch um, and everything that it can do. Uh, so uh, please stay tuned in for the next video. And this is the unboxing quick setup and quick review of uh, the smartwatch. Uh, please stay tuned for the next video. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, the uh, smartwatch is now available uh, for you to uh, purchase through our online store as well as uh, on our marketplaces. If you uh, do um, have any interest in, on, on any of these smartwatches, please do um, check out the um, uh, our website for price and availability. Thanks for watching. If you, if you did enjoy this video, please do hit that like and subscribe button for us. It will be helping us to grow the channel and it will also help you keep updated with the latest products available in our stores. Do stay tuned for the next video. Thank you very much. Take care.